about the prop of the week. And the prop of the week is Everton versus Liverpool. Stinch, you're a Liverpool fan. OK, I want to go with this game because I see that everything goes out the window. Form goes out the window. Both sides need to be getting a win or going and putting their best foot forward. I've gone with corners. I think there's over 10 and a half corners in this game and it's a good price as well. Yeah, I, th- I think at Goodison Park, you have a much better opportunity compared to Anfield because I think Everton, with the crowd, will at some point attack and they'll have to attack because ba- probably based on game state, they are likely to be behind at some point. And we know Liverpool play with a lot of width and with Everton probably sitting deep for certainly the first half, I would say, the inevitability that Liverpool rack up corners in that first half is probably quite high. So, yeah, I can see I can see where you're coming from with this angle. Marco here, the other one is uh, Everton. They do uh, swing. I like the way that they take their corners and they swing it in to the goal because that brings in defenders like clearing it. And then it'll be another, we could get three corners in the space of one minute. I mean, Everton need to go and compete is the first word. But Liverpool have got big players at the back. And Liverpool need to go and win this game as well. And that'll be three in a row. And then all of a sudden, people forget about the start of the season. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't relish Merseyside derbies, particularly in Goodison Park from a betting perspective, because Everton do tend to find an extra gear. They didn't last year under Rafa Benitez. They lost this match 4-1 against a very strong Liverpool team. But the Reds, yeah, there's no doubt about it, aren't at the minute at the same level as they were last year going to Goodison. Now, there's talk that Curtis Jones, Joel Matip, Diego Jota uh, will all be back and available. Obviously, Darwin Nunes is back from suspension too. So, they will be stronger in terms of options. But the midfield is still a concern. Jordan Henderson is now injured as well. And is looking to try and complete a deal for Artur from Juventus. Um, surprising, I thought, uh, to go for him. But but there we are. So, you know, Liverpool aren't in the greatest of shapes. And Everton at Goodison, regardless of what they've done anywhere elsewhere, have tended to give big teams a good game last season they lost by a solitary goal at home to City they beat Chelsea Arsenal United and held Spurs at home so you know the Chelsea game this season was pretty dour it's the first game of the season so you don't read too much into that but I do think they've made incremental improvements particularly from defensive perspective Um, the centre-back pairing of Cody and Tarkovsky with Anana just in front protecting that midfield they don't seem to be the same sort of soft touch that they once were. Neil Mopay will be registered for this match too. Uh, not that I think he's a huge improvement of what they've got, but at least they'll have an out and attack, out and out, you know, normal forward to, to select from rather than sort of uh, Gray and, and Gordon. Um, they have the rest advantage as well over Liverpool. So can they make it competitive? Yeah, of course they can make it competitive, but can they get a result here? Probably not. I'd still be backing Liverpool, of course, but I'm quite happy to sort of leave this game alone. I was interested in cards. Anthony Taylor as the referee, but being a Merseyside, Merseyside derby, the, the markets are all well over over the top with that as well. Sort of over Well, it's five and a half. They started at five and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. So, um, if anything, he'd probably look to go against it, really. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, this fixture has a strong draw bias over in recent years, but um, nothing stood out to me. Just happy again to sort of sit back and see what happens, but you'd expect Liverpool to just only improve from here now that the players are coming back from fitness. Yeah, I mean, again, I've wrote down potential red card. There's no keep ball, so that means it's going to be heavily congested in the midfield. If there's one weakness about Liverpool at the moment, it is a little bit like the their midfield. But instead of being playmakers, they have got the right personnel to put up a fight and be strong. I think this is going to be an absolutely great game. Uh, Jim A says, uh, what about cards? Over four and a half? Yeah, I think you maybe just wait and maybe if there's no card for the first 15, 20 minutes, they'll drop that to maybe four. I think you see four cards, okay? 